What's up guys, eMagic3 here, back with another brand new video today. And we are looking at the brand new Burst of Destiny booster set. And this one uh, brings us a lot of cool cards. Um, get new supports for a lot of different cards that we've gotten in the past. I mean, Evil Twins, Gunkins, Bee Trooper, Machina, I mean, Sword Soul, so many cool new supports in this one. We also get two new archetypes. Floandries and Ice Jade. So we're gonna be looking for those in this set, especially uh, super cool. And then obviously the secret rare that we're going for today is the new Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Uh, so let's dive into it and see what we get. Super excited about this one. So obviously on the front we have Boral Code Dragon and we'll see some Boral cards in here and hope to pull them as well. So super cool. So we got 24 packs in this box. Each pack's gonna have nine cards um, and we'll break it down. So we got 50 common cards in the set, 26 super rares, 14 ultra rares, and 10 secret rares. And then obviously that we have starlights in this one. So we're looking to still pull our first starlight. Let's see if we can do it today. Let's find out. Let's find out. And there's a Flo Andres card right there. So we're going to be looking for those and hope to be pulling them. Abyss Keeper, Bayonet Punisher, Transonic Danger. I forgot the Danger cards in here as well. So a lot of different supports that we're going to be seeing in this one. We're hoping to pull three Secret Rares and at least three Ultra Rares in this set. So six total. Apex, Predation, Penguin. Boom, off the rip, second one, Sword Soul Emergence as our first Ultra in the box. So as I said, we're gonna be seeing a lot of Sword Souls in this uh, set. We got uh, Ice Jade card as well. So we're gonna be seeing those. But yeah, nice, very nice. Second pack, we already got an Ultra. Go ahead and sleeve this bad boy up. All right, off to a good start. Off to a good start. Ice Jade again, Giant Starfall, Gemini's Lord, Magic Key Fiend. So we're already seeing a bunch of different supports here. Floandries, Starry Knight, Penguin Ninja, and uh, they just overloaded the set with different um, supports. And it's really cool to see. A lot of the sets that we've gotten over the past year, year and a half, uh, we're getting more and more cards for them, more and more support cards, new support cards as well. Um, so pretty cool. And there's a Gunkin support, new uh, Gunkin ship. Heavy interlock. Night Sword. And there's a Bee Trooper, as I mentioned, so we're going to be seeing lots of those as well. Uh, there's a couple cool ultra rare Bee Trooper cards in the set. I even think there's a one or two secret rares too. Let's keep it going. Reptilian cards as well. And there's another Gunkin, Night Flight, Reptilian, Ice Jade, Reptilian, Gunkin, Bee Trooper. So there's just so many different ones. So many different supports in here. Heritage of the Light, Flip Frozen, Sonic Tracker, Flo Andres again, another Gunkin, nice. Royal Penguins Garden, Cupid Pitch, Sword Soul, and Danger. So as I mentioned, Starlights are in the set. Still waiting to pull my first one. Sinet. I forgot Sinet card as well. Sword Soul, Sinet again. Flo Andres. Magic Key. Abyss Keeper, DD cards as well. Ice Jade, Giant Starfall. And here we go again. Sword Soul. Another ultra rare Sword Soul. 
Strategis Long Yawn. Wow. Looking good. Looking very good. I like it. So we got two ultra rares on the first side already. Both are Sword Souls. Not bad. Not bad. Gunkin, yeah. So we're, we're already seeing a lot of Gunkin cards already. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So this set, um, the pricing on this set was kind of all over the place to begin with. It got up to like $80, $85 to buy a box, and now it's down to 75 I believe. So this set, I guess a lot of people are expecting to be pretty popular. DD Assault, Mimic King, Sunvine Sewing, Royal Penguins, Cupid Pitch, Sword Soul, Floandries, and Stree. So we got three packs up on the first side. And we're kind of on pace. If we can get one more Ultra or pull our, pull our first secret, that'd be nice on this side. Gunkin. Floandries again. Nice. Penguin Ninja. Penguin cards in here is cool to see. All right, last two on the first side. Penguin, Cyanet, Giant Starfall. Boom, here we are. It is a secret rare, Ice Jade Tremora. Nice, so we got our secret rare on the first side and pretty nice. So we got the new Archetype Ice Jade. Super excited, and it looks just so good. I love, love the looks of secrets. Very nice pull there. So we're on pace. We are on pace. We've got one secret and two ultras on the first side with one pack to go. It's about what the average is. You normally get about five to six altogether in this type of box. Maybe we'll get a little lucky and get more than that. Let's find out. Last pack on the first side. Ultimate flagship. Oh, so I'll... Ursa Tron. So we got uh, Dry Tron and Ursa Arctic support right there. All right. So not bad. Not bad. First side of the box complete. We got the two Ultras and the one Secret. Keep it going. Let's keep it going. Search of our first Starlight. Which, as you know, the chances are slim. But let's see what happens. Sword Soul, Floandries and Stree again, Starry Night, Penguin. Here we go again, another secret, nice. Incredible Ecclesia, the Virtuous. Wow. Totally forgot Ecclesias were in this. Uh, so there you go, another secret. And we are off to a good start on the second side. So now we've got two secrets and two ultras. Looking to pull two more. And I hope Destiny Hero, Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer is one of those secrets that we pull. That's pretty cool, yeah. They're making man eater bug. Not bad. Heritage. Stained glass of light and dark. Cool. Whoops. Reptilian ramifications. So I think we might have pulled that already. Reptilian again. All right, coming down to the last couple of packs here. We got about seven or eight left. Let's see what we find. Break the destiny. And here we go, Machina Ruin Force Ultra Rare. Very nice. So we see the Machina cards are returning in this one. And that's a good looking card there. Sleeve it up. So that's three ultras and two secrets. And 
and we're on pace. We are hoping to pull one more, and we've got a chance to pull two. I mean, we got three, six, seven packs left. Seven packs left. Come on. Still searching for the starlight. Ice Jade, break the destiny. Ice Jade again. Pretty cool. Boom, here we go. Another ultra rare sword soul. Supreme Sovereign, Chang Ying. Awesome. So we are just getting so many ultra rare sword souls in this box. Um, I mean, that's three of our four ultras are sword souls. So nice. Can't complain about that. Can't complain about that. With six packs to go. Can we get one more secret? Not too much to ask. Here to the light, Magic Key, Abyss Keeper, Penguin Squire, Destiny Hero. So our first Destiny Hero that we pulled. Pretty cool. Maybe that's a little foreshadowing of the Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer that we're about to pull. Let's hope. All right, Magical Cylinder, Skunk and Ship, Apex Predators. Mm. Despia cards. Well, all right. We are on our last three packs here. Let's see what we end with. I'm making Man Eater Bug again. Floandries and Unexplored Winds. All right, come on, last two. Last two. Sword Soul, Auspice, Chun Yun. All right, so a last pack here. Can we end on a secret? Or better yet, a starlight. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Let us in on something good. Come on. Oh, and we end on a super Flow Andries and Eaglin. Oh, man. That's all right. That's all right. We got four Ultras and two Secrets. And let's go in detail about what we got here. So, we were hoping to get at least three secrets and three ultras. We end up getting four. Obviously, Sword Souls were the highlights of the ultra rares. Got three of them here. Pretty dope looking cards here. And then we got Machina, Ruin Force to go with it. And then our two secrets. We got the new archetype Ice Jade, Tremora. And then we got Incredible Ecclesia, the Virtuous. So all in all, pretty cool. This is a really, really nice set. I like all the supports that we got for the archetypes that we've been seeing over the past year, year and a half. Obviously, the Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer is a really cool card that I think a lot of people are going to get this box to try and pull for. And I don't blame them because it, it's pretty, pretty awesome. And then also we got the Boral, Boral Code Dragon uh, Boral cards in here. But just so many, so many cool supports. And then the new archetypes, Floandries and Ice Jade. So all in all, I think people are, are really excited about the set. Uh, and I can't be upset. You know, I did a pull, or I pulled a box off camera, and I got some pretty nice pulls as well. And I got some new cards to go with it. So super excited. I know it's been a busy couple of weeks here for Yu-Gi-Oh! with the Synchro Storm, and then obviously Burst of Destiny. So uh, pretty cool that we're getting all these new products here. So let me know what you liked about the set, what you uh, didn't like, what you what your expectations were and if they met those expectations. Uh, all in all, can't be upset. I think it's a really cool set and happy with the pool to have. So if you like the video, feel free to subscribe and I'll be doing more and hope to see you guys next time. See ya.